Hello, <clears throat> sorry about that, and welcome to our Skyrim adventure. Now, in the last episode, <clears throat> we Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. We discovered that <laughs> Devlin is a perv. I think Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. And like spying on Vex in the lake. But right, where Have is? Anything for us yet? Beat this. Kirava's stubborn. But she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. He's as pig headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I'll be here. When now we're gonna do this simply because we we kinda need money. And I don't say this lightly, I mean normally I like to adventure around before I do this stuff, but money seems to be the important thing. Alright, where's the quickest way out? Where's the bridge? There we go. Around the corner we go. Now hopefully, we'll be able to do this quick, and no vampires. The vampires are becoming an issue. I'm half tempted just to storm through the Dawnstar DLC. Is it? No, not Dawnstar. Um... Thornguard DRC just to get rid of them. It's getting to the point where it's like every night there's a vampire attack. But with any luck. We can get over and done with. Let's go to this one first. Be and Bob. I need to go upstairs. You're asleep, aren't you? What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing. She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. There you we go. Excuse me. I have other things to attend to. <clears throat> now watch her town drop. You want something or not? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Ooh, you tough. All right, here we go. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf, and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. See that there we go, that one's already been done. You just can't comprehend this. Now, we need to wait again, because for some reason I like going out in the dark, apparently. Nine o'clock should do it. So, can I interest you in anything today? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Ooh, well, that's a battle axe. I don't use battle axes. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm gonna be using the orcish bow.
22. 24. Everything must go. Money, money, money. What? <laughs> oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves! Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Right, right. Let me just read this. Uh... I can't pay. I can't. Just pay them, Bercy. No! You're going to break it! No! The bird was priceless! Alright, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. Oh yeah! I keep giving and... Oh yeah, she gets told him to pay. Now she's having to go in for not pay uh, for paying. That that is oh, that's like real life actually. Da -da. Last one, last one. Hopefully we can do this. It's you. Please don't hurt me. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. That was ridiculously easy. I, I, I just can't comprehend that. That was, I just walk in and they know who I am. Oh yeah. I am the one and only. I'm gonna rob his store, I think, tonight. No, 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 not tonight, not tonight. Du -du, du -du. Well, dead bodies. Oh, I don't know you killed these bot people. It wasn't me. Before I do anything, Lau, I want to speak to you. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Yes, I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Indeed, it is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. Mm -hmm. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Really? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. 
I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. <clears throat> Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Da -da, da -da. See, at first we was going to do the fighters guild. Mercer and first. We could talk later. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Simply, the Thieves Guild quest line is okay, but I prefer the. What's the other one? The Obiv Oblivion? Yeah. Oblivion storyline. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. Better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer. No, Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take oh. Let's go get our gear first. We're gonna go get the gear. Da -da -da. Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you. So you're the new recruit. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure, how about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all... At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Take a look. 
Now, normally I wouldn't <clears throat> sell this kind of stuff to her. But, I just want to get rid of it. Oh, I'm gonna... You can get rid of that. You sell lockpicks, don't you? Alright then. Let's get the new gear. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Oh, where's the Vex? I swear they're dating. Let me guess. Before we you begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Thick of things One, I'm the best infiltrator jump. this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. No duh. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. Do you want my opinion? I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. <laughs> it was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. There Where we do you go. Think you're going. We have work to do. So do I, love. So do I. Before I do anything, though. All eyes are on you, lad. Now I know Welcome I'm losing money. Take a look. By doing this, by selling her some stuff, but. Now, if you'll excuse me. If it means I can All eyes carry on. less items. Don't disappoint us. We'll get through the shortcut. Discover the entrance. Yada, yada, yada. Now, because I'm very, very lazy, I'm just going to uh, fast travel to the stables. The horses on this game are horrible. Good day, friend. Keep well, well. Oh my god, because we're friends with him, I can nick I can ride a horse whenever I want. Wow, did not know that. So yeah, we look okay with our new gear. Oh butterfly. Ingredients. Ah! Wow. I am like a dinosaur. Da 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 da. with my leather gear.
there's the entrance I'm looking for. Did he even know I was coming? It's okay. It's okay. We can get through it. I hear movement. Well, someone's down here because there's fire. They're evolving. What? He had a ruby on him? Get out of it! See, he, he was the ringleader. Look at him, you can tell just by his face. He, he was the bitch, yeah? You got stuck down here and he, he made you his bitch. I, I get it. I get it. And you were the guards, yeah? The would be rat king down here. I'm gonna get to when they set off the trap for me. Left or right, ooh. Oh wow, someone got brutally murdered down here. Um, uh, we're gonna do half now. Having good sneak is priority in this game for me. Ooh. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, yeah. Don't care about that. Oh, hello. I'll quit that now. So yeah, like, I don't understand what, how someone could have died in it. Oh. I, I just ran straight into that one. Muffles, muffles sound my ass. What's with all the bones down here, man? Yeah, that's right, I've seen it. Your trap has nothing against me. <laughs> Move up. Ah, oh. crap. You know when you've not really been lot picking, and this you come across something like this when you're admittedly quite poor at lot picking skill at the moment it's, it can be really annoying but if you can lot pick it those points are coming with me I don't care about that. Ooh. 
bit more gold. Now the reason why I'm walking so slow is simply because I don't want to get killed. Well, not killed. I want to try and get my sneak up as good as possible. I'm like the splinter cell of Skyrim right now, man. Oh, and likes their wine. I'm lost, aren't I? Okay, that's just one big circle. It's a good job I spent money on lot picks. Ooh. Why, hello. We are balling in it. Oh dear lord. How did I miss that shot? Wow, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So I'm counting at three here. Must be my imagination. It is your imagination. Are you... Alright guys, I don't know what's going on with my aim there. But it's really annoying right now. Must be my imagination. Yeah, it's your imagination, mate. here hmm. nothing here after all no there's not you see <laughs> oh my god you would know I'm sorry but <laughs> why are they moving so slow That's one less person to worry about, and I got him right at the back of the net. He ain't going back from that. I guess I was just hearing things. He was just hearing things, mate.
I'm gonna get busted. Hello? Who's there? I guess I was just hearing things. <laughs> Oh, I guess it, you know, when, once you get your sneak up, this game just becomes incredibly funny. Like, how could he not see me? There. Like, you would see me, you would see me. You were an idiot to try and do that with me. Look at that. Mm -mm. Now look at you. Ooh. I'm sorry, but it's their own fault. It's their own fault that happened. They put their faith in the wrong person. Stupid mercenaries. Hide in here quickly. Or if you can, no. Oh, we only got one more enemy. Here. Oh, two more. Hmm. Nothing here after all. Give it a second. Are you gonna notice the body? No, they didn't even notice the body. Now there was someone else here, and that's what's got me a bit concerned. Nothing good.
Well, that mate, I never should have come here, yeah? Well, I'm not being funny, mate. You're the dead one right now. Damn it. When the guys come in to expect what's happened here, all they'll see is dead bodies. Because you shouldn't have agreed to protect this guy. Da, 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 da. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. I don't believe you. That's not your way. No. I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. Huh? Damn you! Die. We all saw it, guys. He attacked me first. Oh, now what's in here, I wonder? Oh, God. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to find out with not my skills. Whoa, 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 them all this way, there we go. What's the next lot picking? Yeah, more money. Actually, you know what? Food. He, he attacked me for no reason, and I, you know what? I'm lost, aren't I? Went the wrong way. He needed to die, he needed to be taught a lesson. They all did. The Thieves Girls needs to know not to fuck with me. That's not Skyrim, is it? No, yeah, it is. That's outside. That's so all they needs. all they had to do was not fuck with me like that. Wait, 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 wait. I came from this way. I looked in here. Where the... F Is this downstairs? There's movement. need to learn man that's all they had to do was obey I can see someone already you know what guys I yeah let's fight them
I, I really need to start. You hear that, guys? Well, I'm nothing apparently to these guys. That's one of the benefits of having like magic, I suppose, just being able to do shit like that. But if there's any more people, no, that's it. I'll take the coin, I'll take that, and. Ooh. No, I need to get out of here now, don't I? I need to burn those bloody beehives. The beehives of destiny. Ugh, I kind of murdered them. Damn, got trouble. Is someone there? <laughs> I wasn't hiding, you could go Oh, that scared me. That scan, that one guy got me good. <laughs> right. You dare challenge me? Your bows, your arrows, sorry. Yeah, show me what you got. Uh, uh. You're nothing, hear me? Nothing. Really, I'm nothing. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh. Who's nothing now? That I should have stayed in my precious forest. Blah 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 blah. Racism. Die, 
Well, whoop the. That's your best, huh? You'll need to do. I'll need to what, mate? I didn't hear you. That was annoying. <laughs> oh, so we'll get to Rift then, and I think we'll call it an episode. That, that, that was a fun episode, though. That really was a funny episode. Jump scares on Skyrim, man. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Ooh, what do I say? I, I think I say... There we go. Ah, Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. Right, guys, that is it. We might be able to start off the Dawnguard. game well not game but dlc if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you all in the next one have a good one guys